and kia ora everybody Louise here we are Thursday morning and I'm walking yes I'm going to be taking you for a walk we're still greening the city look at this still absolutely looking gorgeous there's a bit of a funny start so I hope there's going to be somebody here um, yeah it was a bit odd <laughs> but hopefully we're okay and hopefully we are live but welcome everybody Louise here in Tamaki Makoro, Auckland. We're at the bottom of Remuera and going to walk through to Orake. So there's a nice park opposite. It's busy, a lot of traffic. This traffic's heading for the city. But we're going to be walking. There's a big plant shop here with. Oh, Lisa, kia ora. So happy that you've joined. <laughs> the start was a bit odd, not my usual start. So. I wasn't sure whether I was actually live or not. And Dave, kia ora, nice to see you. We're going to do the Hobson Bay Walkway. Shore Road entrance, access to Orake Road. So we're going, going to go right through here. It's a gorgeous walk. So, din din, awesome. We are walking in this direction. You can see we've got some big clouds. We've got lots of blue sky as well. The blue sky's mostly up there. <laughs> come down, come down. <laughs> I sound like a cat trying to encourage the birds to come down. And fantastic to see you all, thank you. So let's start off on our walk here. It's a nice boardwalk, somebody coming towards us. Lots of dogs, bicycles, scooters. It's a busy, busy walkway, maybe not right at the moment. But we're in the middle of all the beautiful mangroves yeah Adriana awesome nice to see you kia ora, kia ora. we've got Devonport in the distance you can see the volcano and you'll be interested to know this is actually a different sort of volcano here <laughs> a different sort nice houses up here there's a school you can see that orangey colored building up there that's a school let me just adjust you a little bit that's better Oh no, that's better. <laughs> so we're going to start the walkway. They've got a seat here for those that finish the walk. They've got a nice seat here for you to put your feet up for a few minutes and just reflect on where you've been and what you've been seeing. All these beautiful natives, all the green and, you know, all the different colours of green. Yeah, I think it was Diana was commenting the other day about all the different shades of green that we get. So a big plant centre in here. We're going to follow the walk. And we're heading for those buildings in the distance, which are not far at all. That's the um, Orake Gourmet Village, where I'm having lunch in about 50 minutes. So we've got time for a leisurely bit of a walk. But of course, mangroves, sort of like the liver of the earth, aren't they? Do, do a great job with all their cleansing. It's all muddy and yucky underneath them, and they're just cleansing all that nasty stuff. A lot of cities have taken mangroves out and of course that causes lots of other environmental problems. Dave and Bangor, awesome, nice to see you. How is the weather? <laughs> I'm always interested in everybody's weather. Let me know, are you sunny, are you cloudy, are you wet, um, are you warm, are you cold? Let me know what it's like in your area. <laughs> We're warm and dry at the moment. <laughs> It's gorgeous looking through here though at the plant shop and of course looking down I'll give you a better look at the mangroves so it's of course this is very tidal it's yeah dormant volcano it's a different sort of volcano because um, there's no volcanic cone but the volcano itself grew yeah so important and then yeah it blew out the side of the land and created this basin of water then with the the ice age and the rising tides and waters the area is now connected to the sea so it's very tidal here so once it was a freshwater um, sort of spring left over 120,000 years ago actually mm. and Jennifer kia ora, Stephanie Dindin is hot smoky and dry whoa everybody's just letting me know how they whether what sort of day they're having <laughs> Yeah, and so now there's all sorts of boating activities here and you can actually sail your boat out under a bridge and take you directly out to the harbour which is through there. I'll follow up sometime with um, the walk, so because we're at the 
the inner part of it. The railway line has also been built um, across the middle of the Orake Basin. So it's sort of been divided up and completely different from what Mother Nature did to it, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty gorgeous walk. So that curves around here. Nice doing it when there's nobody. Yeah, awesome. Jennifer, fantastic. Leela, kia ora. We're having a walk. We've got a few clouds in the sky. We've got gorgeous blue as well. Big ones. The sun is just up in there. Trying to do its thing. Yeah, skies are so interesting, aren't they? So, so interesting. I wish I knew a lot more about clouds and weather systems. It would be good. Cold and rainy in Minnesota. Oh, Fawn Marie. Stay inside. <laughs> Stay inside. Nicer weather is coming. There's always tomorrow. Always tomorrow. <laughs> So I've been um, a little bit busy this morning. I've been and got my international driver's license uh, because I'll probably, because I'm away for quite a long time, probably going to end up um, hiring some vehicles and driving around, mostly in Japan, I guess. Not so much in Korea. I won't have so much time there and definitely not in the United States because I'm not. I'm only with you for eight nights. <laughs> and people are going to be far more important than any form of transport at that time. So we've got a nice seat here. We can. This looks new. Looks like we can just step out here. Fantastic to see you all here. We are not seeing the city yet, but we're going to get gorgeous views to the city actually. Really, really beautiful. Fabulous to see everybody. Oh, and I see Dutch Mars was. Ah, oh, not the Lumineers. The yeah, was live streaming the big activity, what's it called, the art thingy today. It's actually here in Auckland at the same time, so it's on for a couple of weeks. So I will try and take you for a walk through our one um, in the next week or so. What's it called, the art something or other? Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It looks fantastic with all its uh, big ca bright canopies. Yeah. New York's in September. Oh, Jay, yes, yeah, oh, that's a shame, yeah, no, I'm, um, New York is the 4th to the 8th, so busy road going along here, look at all this lovely, all those different shades of green, they keep coming up for us, I think even that truck was, had, oh, it was a bus, had a bit of green on it, little art gallery here at the end, which is interesting, we'll have stop and have a look at that. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to New York. I hope the vessel will be open by the time I'm there. Um, it, they just say it's going to open this year, so not sure about that. But the purpose I'm coming to New York is really not to go and see things, but to see people. <laughs> Have some coffees. <laughs> oh, unexpected move. Yeah, that's a shame. Never mind. If you're moving to Houston, I might see you there. <laughs> because I've got four nights in Houston first and then four nights in New York. And then I'm sort of back in New Zealand mid-September. Isn't this nice, just walking like this? Yeah, boo. Hey, there's always another time. Another time, another place, another year. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Nabul, yes, yeah. Nabul, I woke up to messages from Nabul. <laughs> which was pretty cool. I saw it yesterday actually when I walked down into the city and um, I walked right past it so it's quite close to where I am as well. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'd love to go to Wisconsin. The very first time I came to New York I think it might have been 2004 and it was I met I, I met a couple of women from Wisconsin and we were all doing the same course. It was a creativity course, so it was art and writing and photography. And anyway, Margot and Margaret were both from Wisconsin. We kept in touch for a long time. We became good buddies and we kept in touch for a long time, but I have lost touch with them now. I mean, that's 20 years ago. Whoa, my first trip to New York, it was fabulous. 
I stayed in the worst accommodation. Oh, here comes bicycles. Yeah, the worst accommodation possible. It was a hostel. It was actually recommended by the course I was doing. That was the cheapest. <laughs> it was called the White House. It was in the Bowery. And um, it was terrible. It was either me on the bed or the suitcase. And it had all this sort of like cage over the top of it to stop other people climbing into my space. <laughs> and I had a young um, amorous French couple in the room next door who they were very active at night, which was quite funny. And, um, but the thing that made me laugh about this, and the people working there were fantastic. They were really, really great. And the area was good. It was just the accommodation sucked. Anyway, oh, there goes a train. I'll zoom in. But the thing I loved about it was their advertising. Um, their slogan was from Bill Clinton. And he said, Hillary and I loved our stay at the White House, and you will too. <laughs> And I've laughed about that ever since because it was the opposite end of the, um, the luxury scale from what they were used to. Anyway, because after I'd finished my course, I went up to Boston and I came back down to New York to get my flight. For, stayed an extra couple of nights. There was no way I could go back to the, to the White House. So I booked a, I booked a hotel and stayed there. It was somewhere near Times Square, I think. Good area to stay away from actually. <laughs> so here we've come to the little art gallery. So that's my new, my first visit to New York. That's what I experienced. Met lots of fabulous people, got really, really creative. And one thing they made us do was write a little letter to ourselves, which they then posted and it turned up in my mailbox months later. Yeah. So I sometimes look at that and I made promises to myself like that I was going to be creative every day and I was going to do this and I was going to do that. And I read it occasionally just to remind myself. But now when I'm traveling with my clients, I always make them post a postcard home. So then they forget about it. And then a few weeks later, lo and behold, they have a postcard from where they've been, written to themselves about themselves. Jim Cura, our armchair traveler. Yeah, I mean, these travel stories are so funny and um, <laughs> yeah, 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 and these travel stories, I mean, it doesn't hurt anybody because they're, it's really good to experience all of these things. I mean, people stay in luxury state places all the time and it's great, but to try something a little bit different, um, you know, it's, and it was... For me, it was coming to New York and experiencing New York and being out all day was the big thing. I didn't need to have, I just needed somewhere to store my luggage. Anyway, now this little art gallery here, these are done by the local, the local school kids in the area. So, um, penguin, Karora, the little blue penguin. This is done by Talia Ulinayo, who is from, what school is she from? St. Joseph's, Orake. That's gorgeous. Yeah, this one. These are fabulous. Look, they like, um, look like kimono. This is from King's School. So, by Tyler Wright. Done in 2016. This one here. Yeah, travel stories are always fun, you know, and you don't forget. I could f probably forget a lot of things about New York, but I've never forgotten that, and I've never forgotten the girls. And I've never forgotten Shelley and Alessandro that I did the course with. And I've never forgotten that pizza that I had on the first night. <laughs> Gemma Chandler, she's from St. Joseph's in Orake as well. So Orake, the name, O is possessive. Rake was an old ancestor. I, his name was Raki Iwa something or other. It was a little bit longer. But this was um, his Turangawaiwai, his place of standing. This one is by Diego Gerbich Pei, King's School. So King's School is a private um, junior school here, elementary. These are all elementary. This is by Nadia. She's, oh, <laughs> year eight from Oraki. Nadia 
I de Baron. She's got a posh name, Nadia. You, oh, I love the way she signs herself UDB because look at her, her whole name. Barbara, kia ora. Yeah, these are gorgeous, aren't they, Stephanie? Yeah. Barbara, we've just been walking. I've only really probably just started 10 minutes ago. We've just started over there at the end of the walkway and we're just coming around. We've got a few big clouds. The nature's gorgeous through here, really beautiful. I'm just heading to meet um, somebody for lunch, which will be fabulous. And I'm going to be meeting them at the end of the walk, but not until about 40 minutes. This is Jack Hong, so he's also from King's School. So there we go, we've got six beautiful paintings all lined up here, a little art gallery. So there's a little bit of a division here in the walk. Hope you're doing well today, Barbara. Um, yeah, by art, local schools. Cool. So we're going uphill a little bit here and walking down beside the road. A little bit busy here. It's a gorgeous path, isn't it? Yeah, and all the gorgeous trees. We'll start to get a city view when we get to the top. But this, I was explaining, this is a, an old volcanic area. It erupted 120 years ago. So it's not a volcanic cone, it's not a mountain. Um, it sort of blew out of the side of some rolling land and created this basin of water, which we're just beginning to see. That's the port through there with, oh, I can just see the top of Sky Tower. Let me zoom in. We're not lost, kids. We're not lost. There it is, right beside that Norfolk pine tree. Cool. Yeah, so it's full of all these beautiful mangroves here. I was saying a lot of cities have pulled them out because they're so ugly. But they're not really ugly. They're, whoops, sorry. They're beautiful. They're really beautiful and they're helping to keep all the water clean around here. So a lot of water sports in here. Of course this, what they're growing in will be absolutely rich with all the nutrients that comes of Janice, kia ora! All the nutrients that comes with hundreds and thousands of years of natural activity here as the tide comes in and out and yeah because these days it's with the rising tides of course oh there's another train <laughs> I came on the train uh, yeah so with the rising tides over the years the basin has filled and it's now connected to the harbour interesting you know Auckland is in a way it's an amazing city it's we're built on top of these volcanoes uh, although we have a law we can't build on top of them but we've built around them and up onto the sides of them and it's pretty incredible really <laughs> fortunately they're, they're dormant which just means not today but you can imagine Christmas time these are the Pahuta Kawa trees so they're flowering and looking gorgeous through here so you're getting little peeps, peeps of the city. And I was just came here, I'm one stop on the train. And so it's like a five minute train journey. You come out from the station, you go past the port and then you're coming over, over the water. You've got the, the harbour side and the basin one on either side it's really really amazing really gorgeous nice wooden fence line here oh there's the city <laughs> it is downtown Auckland yeah oh and all these native trees these are what we saw yesterday at the greening of the city at Britomart so there is a big te kaoka or a cabbage tree when we saw them yesterday they were just a few little leaves and that's what they look like when they're growing up and they're big when they're adults do 
a oh, little bit of backward walking here. <laughs> Interesting sky today. Really interesting. And then we'll go up a little bit further. There's a nice platform. Oh, we're nearly at the village. We are nearly at the village. I'm actually having lunch at the, the Daily Bread Cafe there. Which is always nice. Good coffee and yummy sandwiches and different foods. I'm going to be bringing you lots of interesting stuff from Korea and Japan. I'm leaving on the 7th of May and um, yeah so I'm really looking forward to showing you around. I'm actually my uh, travel agent friend has put together a um, a seven day trip for me around Korea so which is really really cool so I'll be doing that so I'll be able to show you the whole of the country and I'm doing it uh, we sort of planned it because I want to see whether it's too short or too long uh, for next year so oh this tree poor this is a karu it's fallen over it'll grow look it's still it's gonna grow back it'll be fine it'll be fine <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, recce on that and make a plan with it for next year. Yeah, exciting, Lisa. Yeah. But you're crocheting while you're watching me. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Look at that postcard shot there. It's downtown Auckland. Let me zoom in and get a little bit of a close view. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit moody today, isn't it? The sky. Yeah, so I'm going to. Yeah, I'll be taking you all with me every day, of course. You'll be in. You'll be my pocket travellers. Hear the trains, yeah, they run pretty regularly. Oh, hello! <laughs> We're just going uphill a little bit. Always busy, busy hands, yep. Nice, busy hands, peaceful mind. Yeah, all these nice views here. It's, yeah, we've had a few people running and cycling and passing us. So this is where my lunch date is, right in here, I'm meeting, you probably don't know, but it's Alison. Um, when Hago was a thing, we met on Hago, so we've sort of kept in touch and um, yeah, so we're going to have lunch today. Yeah, it's gorgeous and peaceful, isn't it? Beautiful. So underneath these canopies, this is a plant centre. I think it might be King's Plant Barn, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but that's where the cafe is, right in there. So it's really, really beautiful. And it's a, yeah, it's a urban gourmet village. Lots of nice uh, food and eating places. There's a little movie theatre here too. Boutique movie theatre. So it's quite a nice little destination. And then we have our Paul Fenua. So Pole is the post and Fenua is the land, marking possession of the land of Orake. Be nice if I could switch you on to portrait now so you'd get the long view, but we don't, we can't. So what have we got some signs here? We've got a changing landscape. Remains a natural ecosystem within the city suburbs. In 1926, Tamaki Drive was built. So this is where, oh, former sewer pipeline. Okay, so yeah, we are here. So this is the whole of the basin. Uh, there's the railway line going into the city. Sewer pipe was dismantled in 2009 and replaced with an underground tunnel. 
there were farms around the area. It's been cut in half twice. In 1909, construction on a massive sewer pipe across the bay was started. The pipe discharged raw sewage from Okahu Point, where Kelly Talton's the aquarium is now, because the aquarium has been built in the old sewer pipes. Changed the bay forever, but gave walking access. Then the railway was built in 1925, bisecting the city again. Water flow, changing elements. It's now shallower and more silted than before, and this has led to increased growth in the mangroves along the shoreline. Lots of birds here, Bird City. Yeah, so here's all the mangroves. Yeah, gorgeous spot for lunch, isn't it? I'll share it on Instagram, actually. <laughs> so if you're not following me over there, of course, it's Louise Poppy NZ, NZ. What have we got here? Oh, a different view. This is how it looked in the old days, everybody. Look how gorgeous it was. Oh, my goodness. Sparkling water. Waitaramoa, later renamed Hobson Bay. Oh, I like that much better. Waitaramoa was a sparkling expanse of clear water. Oh. They could watch everybody. Gave them a grand view of comings and goings in the Waitamata in the harbour. So they could see from a distance who the visitors were and whether their intentions might be friendly or otherwise. Wow. Previously the bay was not so shallow. The dissecting of the bay by the causeway and railway line have added to sediment building up. Isn't that gorgeous? In the old days, no sky tower there, but we've got the same sort of view. Look. Food from the forest. Seafood supermarket. Don't you love all these descriptions? Seafood supermarket. It was well stocked with Kaimoana and all easily accessible from the shore here. A good paddle out in a walker would get fishermen of the pa to rich fishing grounds. Wow. Awesome. That is fabulous. I love it. I love it. I want that on my wall at home, actually. The circular shape of the basin is the remains of a tough ring, the top lip of, of an old volcanic crater. There's an old map of the area, too. These are always fun to look at. Chiefly name, Orake, comes from the name of Raki Iri Ora. Raki Iri Ora, who was reputed to be the chief of the Tokomaru voyaging canoe who lived near here. Many of the original names. Oh, they're too small to read. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous, Jennifer. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So this little, this is full of interesting information here. What have we got over here? A changing landscape. That's the birds. Back past our pole whenua. Got another sign over here. Ancestors' eyes. Whoa. The whole of this peninsula was once Oraki Pa, which is a village. This carved pole stands as the guardian of the site. Ah, oh, there they go, carving the pole. Recognises and acknowledges the ancestors of the past that occupied this past site. Visual footprint on our whenua. Ngāti Whātua, yeah, this is the land of Ngāti Whātua here. Wow, awesome. The name of the carver. Cool, should we go on a little bit? A place that matters. archaeological features. Yeah, we need to walk on the other side of the road, so we're here. Um, so if we walk over, there's a nice big walkway all the way along here, and you can actually walk all the way around here. So, yeah, nice. We can do that another time. Okay, up we go. So we'll just say goodbye to this view for a moment. And we'll go up and uh, I'm not sure what we'll do from here. <laughs> Let's see what the access is like. <laughs> uh, this is the very back of the village, I guess. Yeah, 
So that's looking down into the lunch spot. Yeah, so this is the Orake Bay Village. Free parking. I guess these were old warehouses or something. I think there's a brewery in here actually. Oh, let's go in and have a look. <laughs> Hobson Bay Walkway. Orake Road, entrance across to Shore Road. Yeah. So you can see there's a lot of green space in front of us as well. Um, there's no buildings on here because the land is unstable. It always looks as if it's waiting to be built on, but actually it's unstable when it gets when there's a lot of rain. Uh, it gets they describe it as getting as slumping. So I guess slumping is to like slump over. The sky is interesting today. Here comes the Moana van. So Kai Moana. Seafood. <laughs> Premium seafood of New Zealand, it says. We're at 228 Orake Road. Into the shopping centre. OBV. Colleen, kia ora. Nice to see you. We're just going to head into the food department. <laughs> And the sun's come out. Look at that. It is nice. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a grey walk. It's okay. That's how, oh, we've got a birds of paradise. It'll brighten us up. There he is. Look, gorgeous. I love birds of paradise. They're beautiful. Gorgeous. So we'll contemporary art gallery. It's always very quiet here. Well, it looks busy with all these cars, but it's always quiet when you get inside. Although, who knows, it might be busy today. What have we got here? Thai massage, Lux appearance, appearance medicine, Indian cuisine, Jan Noon, Polish white, which is teeth whitening. Oh, Polish and white, not Polish. <laughs> Polish and white. Espresso workshop, which is great coffee, and this is the entrance to the village, or the shops. Over there it says great little vineyard, so this is a wine store in here. Hey, Des, awesome! You are thinking about Paris. <laughs> so inside. Okay. Oh, a friend. There we go. So here's the wine shop. So we're in, everybody. We're in car washing and detailing. Under new management. Bowl and Arrow. Hey, people are clever with names, aren't they? Bowl and Arrow. Smoothies, coffees. Yeah. So the wine shop. Repair and buy, iPhone, iPad, Mac. See what I mean about quiet? These lovely white tiles, we've got clothing in here, clothing and homewares by the look of it. Island weddings and events, some nice artwork. This will be Orake Basin up here. Whoa, cool. That's a nice artwork, isn't it? Beautiful. Island Weddings and Events. So Rekka is the name of the clothing store. 30% off. Urban Herbalist. Ampersand is the big eatery through here, but we're actually going downstairs. What else have we got? Whoa, it looks good, doesn't it? Here's Bowl and Arrow. Bowl and Arrow. This one is Moustache. Which is cookies and cookies and cookies and cookies that's all chunky gooey crumbly sticky yummy tasty cookie <laughs> chunky gooey crumbly sticky yummy tasty cookie and then through here to the local kitchen Oh, food.
food, food, food. Bowl and arrow. Looks like it might be vegan too. Tropical chia pots. Raspberry brownie. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. Oh, that looks nice, the ginger slice. Look at that. Whoa. Snickers slice. Nice. No ordinary iced tea. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's head off. Faro is the local supermarket. Dears, thank you so much. Awesome. A bit more homewares in here. And then we have the local supermarket here, Faro. Sunflowers, dears. Pick a flower. <laughs> Pick a flower. Cool. Broccoli, fresh cut, $1.99. This is New Zealand dollars, remember. Coomera, red or orange, $4.99. I've seen it for $3.99, but this is always good quality. So, sweet potato. You'll take a ginger and a Snickers. Yeah, Jay, they look really good, don't they? Cauliflowers, $4.99. Oh, look at the roses. Wow. Look at that colour. Wow. Oh, yes, I'll probably get a, get a copyright start, um, strike. <laughs> That's fatal coming into these sort of places. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, they must be dyed, surely. Maybe not. You love sunflowers, Jennifer? Yeah, they're gorgeous. These are just the baby ones. They flower here at this time of the year. Yeah. They're probably flowering at um, yeah, so far I did not go in there. Here we go, we've got a beachside lady. Helmets, atomic EV, smarter ways to move. And then we've got a nail bar, we always have a nail bar. And then we have Silky Otter, the cinema, so boutique cinema. Always have special nice little movies on here. And then you step outside. So we are on the walk-in level, the top level. And then it, we're looking out. Here comes a train. <laughs> we're looking out over the station. And this takes me down to the plant centre down here. So where I'm going to meet Alison. Plenty of time. Her train's getting in at 12.25 or 12.35. There we go. Here comes the train and beautiful views out over the basin and the um, look, looking a little bit further as well. Kia ora Mercedes! Yes, gorgeous flowers weren't they? Really, really lovely. So we've got a bit of heavy cloud today but no rain, it's just one of those sort of subtropical days. So the trains run every few minutes which is nice. And we've got some I've got a bottle brush, it's not a Pahutakawa, but it's pretty close to it. <laughs> Same family. Different leaf, yeah. It's a gorgeous view from here, isn't it? Really lovely. There you go. Oh, I heard the, heard the conductor's whistle. Everything's okay, he's closing the doors and they're off again. This has been a fabulous walk with you all. Do you want to go to the plant shop? <laughs> Enjoy the view and then we'll go down and we'll head down to the plant shop. That's gorgeous when you um, look inside there. There goes the train. Next stop, I think is Meadowbank. Lots of stairs. So you can see we must be on that tough ring from the volcano because yeah, we've got to go down quite a long way. What is it called? King's Plant Barn. That's it. That's it. They have amazing plants in here. Now they have good coffee and bakery as well. Just excuse me while I head down these steps. Yeah, it's, it is lovely, isn't it? We're nearly there. Oh, I turned around. What have we got? <laughs> I got a little bit of art. Wow. Nice. Yeah, the train is, they're electric. Um, 
a lot of them have got beautiful artworks on them. That one didn't. That was just the just the plain one. But with the ones with the coloured all the artwork, they're gorgeous. They're covered in like bright birds and flowers. Oops. <laughs> Not oops for me, oops for somebody else. So we're down. Locky dock. Oh, all the bicycles. That's okay. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> all the bicycles coming in. We're in the car park now. And we're going to head in here. King's Plant Barn. And the cinema's on top of us. Yeah. So let's just go in for a quick little look. Oh, Daily Bread. That's where I'm going. That's the right place. Good. Entrance. Excellent. It's huge in here it's huge not sure whether they'll let me do this or not but we'll give it a go oh nice look oh awesome oh look at all the teas nice Oh no, they're stones, they're not tea. <laughs> I thought they were packets of tea. <laughs> they look like it, don't they? <laughs> oh, nice, it's like a little cobweb cactus. And these are real growing things, look. Wow. Cool. Oh, they're for terrariums. Okay. I think we're okay. Nobody's taking any notice of us. I was going to ask, but they're all looking. I'll just be interrupting them. How is this though? Here's the cafe. <laughs> I'm a bit of a regular at Daily Bread. Oh, shall I walk you past the food as we go outside? <laughs> yes. Yeah, and the, I've just found there's a um, new variety of New Zealand tea. I can't remember what it's called now. Anybody for cake? I can't remember what it's... Oh, they're napkins. That is hilarious. Look, it's a big cake with a cherry on a raspberry, a strawberry on the top. <laughs> oh, your homeland, Fawn Marie. Gorgeous. Uh, Muckproof. It's interesting just coming in muckproof gumboots. So waterproof, um, yeah, waterproof boots. Muck Boot Company. Oh, that's a good colour. Similar to what I'm wearing right now. I've got mine on, look. <laughs> My Quicks, which I love, made from recycled um, bottle and bottles and packaging. Oh, these are not real, but look how gorgeous they are. Okay, walk you past the food and then we'll step outside. I can decide what I'm having for lunch. Usually something naughty here, but they do have nice salads. And the sandwiches, look at the sandwiches. Corn beef Reuben on sourdough. Sweet corn cheese on sourdough, that's delicious, that's delicious. And so is the mushroom and truffle. Oh, I think I have to have the mushroom and truffle today. And then for the little, little more snacky things, we've got tarts, lemon tart, apricot and pistachio. Oh, sorry everybody. This is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Spiced apple, something cake there. Mini cake, maybe. Yeah. Anzac cookies, because Anzac Day is coming up on the 25th. Um, I need to make Anzac cookies for oh for my um, people. I've got I'm working tomorrow. I've got people on tour. Line cork coat um, smoked kahawai, the local fish here. Roast beef chimichurri and remoulade. That's good too. I've had that one before. And then look at these, <laughs> Jennifer. I know. Donuts, vanilla, raspberry, lemon curd, cinnamon. Oh, yeah all so good hey and now we've come to the teas have a look at the pastries <gasps> oh hazelnut croissant look at that 
blueberry danish, only one left, croissant. The ham and cheese are always good. They've got um, sesame and fennel, tomato, caramelised onion, danish, cheese bun is good as well. And here's the teas. <laughs> What have we got here? Earl Grey, English Breakfast, Salvation, Repose and Revive. And the news okay, leaves. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Here we go, out into all our lush greenery again. Cool. Isn't this fabulous, this place? You're Oh, another one! Oh, hello! Gorgeous. I love the colour, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, here's a tractor seat plant. Nice. There we go. Getting away from people and dogs now and out into a little bit more of nature. So this is pretty cool. Autumn. Nature's best planting time. You love tea? Yeah. Some of those teas are fabulous aren't they? I love them as well. I'm a coffee drinker but I do love a good cup of interesting tea not just a you know boring old I shouldn't say English breakfast but I do like a nice fruity herbal that it gives you a good good feeling it gives you a good zing. Here we go what are these things? Yeah bromeliads I always called them bromeliads but they are bromeliads yeah, the dogs are gorgeous, aren't they? So many people have got dogs, it's good. That's good. It means I don't have to. <laughs> Better version of Home Depot? Yeah. It's all plants. It's amazing. Oh gosh. Flowers, 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 veggies, 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 veggies. Five for ten dollars. I actually bought a native, the ringer lily yesterday, uh, which is still not planted. That's a job I have to do. And here's some machine going, but yeah, it's huge, isn't it? And these were the, the white canopy that we were looking down on from above. King's ready to eat. Oh, silver beet. It's like parsley, maybe? Italian parsley. They're expensive, three for 30. Wow. I've got masses of basil growing at home. <laughs> oh, spiced chai. Oh, nice. Yeah, and chai is quite filling, isn't it? Edible flowers. This is interesting. Lavender. Used flowers and wheat teas, as well as crystallised garnishes for baking or chocolate. Yeah. Excursions, viola, borage, chives. These things have a lot of goodness in them as well. You need to try to avoid watering foliage and water in the morning. Yeah, roses, you can eat roses, only the petals. Oh, we're doing a bit of cleaning. Figs. It's not a fig, but this is a fig here. I love figs. And the other thing I saw um, being advertised somewhere today, Instagram maybe, were finger limes. So small, small limes. They'll be around here somewhere probably. Oh, look at the camellias. Beautiful. Oh, they're all losing their petals. So isn't this funny? We went from the mangroves to all these beautiful sort of exotic <laughs> flowers <laughs> which are gorgeous beautiful camellias well wow, there's heaps of them 
of course they grow beautifully in Australia and New Zealand. Our climate is perfect for them. Plantation pink. Nice. Anyway, everybody, this has been a fantastic walk. I have loved so spontaneous and just having a beautiful wander around exploring with you all. There's another train. Oh, that's a colourful one. We can't see it. It's a shame. I'll take you for a ride on the colourful train one day. <laughs> so thanks very much for joining everybody. Here we go. We're looking at the backside of the um, Araki Bay village here. I'm in the plants, in the middle of the plant section. Let me just turn. Thanks. I've got a haircut coming up, but not for another week or so. <laughs> My fabulous hairdresser is busy. But it's okay, I can put up with it for a while. Just when I look at myself like this, I realise how long it is. Fantastic to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. I'm off for lunch now. Perfect timing. You got me here on time. Awesome. But So thank you, everybody. I will probably not see you tomorrow, but I'll see you on Saturday. I'm not working on Saturday. Hydrangeas candlelight Ooh, not working on Saturday so I will be out and about with you on that day funny names look at this one Ficus Tuffy yeah so I will see you all on Saturday I hope you have a beautiful beautiful Thursday and a nice day tomorrow and if you're cold you warm up and if you're hot you cool down and if you're raining, you're dry. And if you're dry, you get a bit of rain. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh, they look like they need rain. But they don't, probably, because that's how they're meant to be. Mandevilla. Chilean jasmine. Cool. Thanks, everybody. This has been so much fun with you. And, yeah, just it's just lovely walking and talking and sharing a few stories every now and then. Take care, everybody, and we'll catch you all very soon. Thank you for joining. Always love it when you're all here. Take care. Looking for a nice finishing spot. <laughs> Something colourful. <laughs> oh, what about the grasses we looked at yesterday? All our beautiful native grasses. The colours are gorgeous. All these lovely different shades of greens and reds. And yeah, yeah I'll put my lunch on Instagram. That'll be a good little um, shot for you. Oh, we've got a rain lily behind, beside us. So for those of you needing rain, there we go. Zephyranthus. <laughs> Take care, everybody. And Oh, I didn't know they still sold agapanthus. I thought it was a noxious weed. Okay, we'll see you all um, on Saturday. Take care. Thanks so much. Okay, kia ora and ka kere anō. Remember, tread lightly, leave no trace. Lunch is on the way. Thanks everybody. See you Leela, see you Jennifer. Awesome, fabulous to have you all. It's just those are the last two names I'm seeing. So thank you so much everybody. Kia ora and ka kete Bye.